people, 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 people. Kepasa sak pa se what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. This one is called Good Son, Bad Son. Bad Son that kept company with a man that was St. James most wanted. Nesta Zado Gallimore. If you know the news or been watching the news, you saw that the Paul Paul military team, they went on some sort of special operation in a Barrett town and they took away three purses. Mr. Gallimore and his second, his second name is Jadine, Jadine Henry. However, a next Henry, which is the brother of Jadine, his name is Javon. He also lost his life. And that is why I am going to say that. Good son, bad son. Good son lost his life because of collateral damage. Bad son lost his life because he picked up bad company. He was said to be the second in command for Mr. Gallimore. So therefore, whenever the poor poor come for you, if you are the second, you are going to get the same treatment. Next patient, same treatment. However, what the family did not realize is that the next brother, Javon, Javon Henry, who is said to be deaf, that has nothing to do with nothing. He was 24 at the time when he lost his life. The other brother was 20. Mr. Gallimore was 35. So therefore, an older man that is leading a younger man to stray. However, when you pass the age of consent, if it's even SEX or badness, you knew exactly what you were getting into. You are responsible for your deeds. Now we see that there is a rift between the mother and the father. Because the father said, listen. Him try to talk to Jodian. Him tell him, say, listen. Leave the badness alone. Leave the youth there alone. Or else you are going to end up where you actually ended up and people such is the case as it pertains to him. He said he took him to school to learn some sorts of trade but he was not interested. He was interested in the, bad, the badness. In the fast money, in the fast lane, he could not leave Mr. Gallimore alone. Me no know what kind of spell Mr. Gallimore put over him. However, he could not leave. Now, people, I hate to be the type of person that sounds insensitive, which sometimes I do. And when a mother or father lose their son, it is never good because they are the ones that are in mourning. Not to say that I am sorry for the son that is bad that got caught up in the matrix, no. However, when somebody is innocent, they should not lose their life. However, under the circumstances, this is exactly what happens 99 times out of 100. So therefore, we will not, cannot, should not blame the security force because they don't know who is who based on what they said. When they went on the scene, they came on the F-I-R-E and people, you know that cliche script. Not to say that that was not the case in this case, but me just I say, all of them sounds alike. The results are always usually the same. So like I said, there is conflict between the father. The father said, listen, me I live at this house. Me realize that my son, Jodian, Jodian, take up badness. Me and the son, you can't live under the same roof. So therefore, it's better me leave from Barrytown, where all three persons lost their life, go and live a separate life. However, they were there, meaning the two brothers, Jovan, the good one, and then Jodian, the bad one. Now, here's the thing. Why I say this mother, it seems as if, even though she was preaching, listen, don't take up bad company. She was more than likely facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y. Based on what the father said, him left. And based on what the father said, he told the mother, listen, bring in your son to the poor poor. However, people, you can't carry the ass, go out the water, but you can't force him to drink. So I don't know if the mother made any sort of attempt to bring in the bad son, Jodian. 
to prevent the good son Javan from losing his life. Don't know the specifics on that. However, what is very strange, based on what the mother's response when she was doing an interview, she said, when she got the news that the Paw Paw Special Operation Team went by her house, she was saying to herself, Jesus Christ, I hope them not K-I-L-L, my good son who was deaf. Based on what the mother is saying, all that son do, him read him Bible and him watch all sorts of movie upon him tablet. As a matter of fact, he lost his life with both on his side. His Bible upon the left side, the, the tablet where he watches his movie upon the right, vice versa. She claims that the bad son, Jodian, since the father left, he has not been staying by the house. Now, people, if you know Jamaica, especially these garrison like I know them, if you live in a one house, you got to hear everybody, you got to see everybody, you got to know everybody that did it. The mother said she left and went to work. That was when she got the news. So, people, let me know in the comment section. Do you think that this mother saw the bad son in the house because she claims eh, him come at the house and he left when the father left the father move out he also moved out however him claims eh, he miss her so him come back and look for her mother i am trying to give you the benefit of the doubt however you know say your son name a carl up along with mr gallimore are you going to tell us that you did not know that mr gallimore zardo and your bad son was at the house when you left the next good son in our bed, I read him Bible and I watch movie. How much of a coincidence could it be that as soon as he left, left for work, in a two toes, the poor poor them pull up, take with all three of them, and then you a ball for the good son said me can't believe said them K-I-L-L, my good son. Now people, if you remember, I did a video a couple of days ago and I told you, I showed you some conversations that I had with some people that know Mr. Gallimore very, very good. And I told you, I told him, listen, give up yourself. I can guarantee you that you're not going to get a whole bunch of time because more than likely the 10 that them claim say you do could be 20 or even 30. Me not know the specifics of that. His friend told me that, listen, me I go talk to him, me I try to call him, him na answer, me get him number and I call him, him na answer. So therefore I guess, he decided that he was caught between a rock and a hard place. It is going to be do or die. People, you saw the exit, the results. It end up in the worst case ever. Now people, like me say, at the end of the day, listen, you as a mother, you as a father, you can teach your children the right thing. In the case of the father, him tell him, find a trade, leave bad company, gain yourself. He did not listen to any of those. He decided he wants to be in the company of Mr. Gallimore. He was Mr. Gallimore's second according to the popo so therefore he is just as guilty as a matter of fact both of them names were being called up on two separate double and like me say both of them are linked officially to 10 takeaways so therefore we cannot say that these people are innocent people the father did what he was supposed to do as a responsible father Try to make sure say him bend him to do the right thing. However, like most criminals, they are stubborn. They are stupid. They only learn when it is too late. Meaning, they are sent to the place to live where people that no longer live, live the afterlife. Mother, I sympathize with the fact that you lost a son that was good. However, in my opinion, you are partly to be blamed. Not for the direction that they took, but the fact that you knew that one of your son was wanted. More than likely, you saw his combo up, Mr. Gallimore, in the house. You knew that they were there. You knew that they were wanted for X amount of takeaway. 
You knew that your good son was there. However, you facilitated the F-U-C-K-R-Y. All you have to do is when you heard the news, yes, you are sad that your son lost his life. However, if you were there too, more than likely you would have lost your life. Because these people, based on what the Popo I say, when the Popo military team pull up, them come under F-I-R-E. So I don't think that you could have taught them out. I don't think that you could have brought down the B-L-O-O-D of Jesus because your son I read the Bible, so more than likely you are a church person too. You cannot be both. It is either you are good or you are bad. You cannot be both a badness and goodness in the same strength, the same breadth. It sounds very hypocritical so therefore your sons lose their life you knew exactly what was going on not going to say that you were involved not going to say that you did not tell them that listen stay away from this badness however you facilitated you gave them a place to hide it was in your house in which your husband left and said, listen, me not live with any sorts of criminal. So therefore, the right thing to do was your civic duty. Call the popo and tell him, say, listen, come get them dregs out of my house. However, you did not do that and you see the result, which is always going to be the result for all criminals. So therefore, for you persons that have aspiration, you mothers, you grandmas, you sisters, you brothers, that like to facilitate F-U-C-K-R-Y. You saw exactly what happened. Collateral damage. Good son gone. Mother was lucky that she escaped the rat because the same would have been done to her without a shadow of a doubt. So therefore, like me always say, a wise man learns from his mistake. A wiser man learns from the mistakes of others. So therefore, if you keep up this, just like these people, that is going to be the end result, point blank and period. Further on in the news. This is based on a video that is making its round on social media. This video is about 10 minutes or so long. Because of YouTube's policy, I will not play it. However, I am going to put it in my WhatsApp group. In this video that was said to have taken place in a place called Osborne Store, that is actually a place, not a business, that is in Clarendon. Apparently, the Popo was chasing a taxi man in a pro box looking vehicle. Like most taxi men, they decide that, listen, me na stop, my license no good, more than likely me have hundreds or so tickets however the mindset of these taxi men cabby minibus driver analyze and drive cab analyze and drive minibus so therefore they are allowed to conduct business as usual without any sorts of reprimand and them act like some reprobates so anyway the poor poor chase him he decided he is not going to stop so therefore it is full speed of ahead, press pedal to the metal, likewise the popo, you know, so the popo don't really care either. Sometimes they themselves, by pursuing these madmen in a cab, in a minibus, they are endangering the lives of the regular civilians, innocent people out there. Him decide to overtake a line of traffic just as he was about to overtake a line of traffic. A lady was making a right turn in at the place where she was going business establishment. When he hit that lady vehicle, she was in some sorts of jeep. He was going so fast that that lady's vehicle flipped a couple of times, end up in a ditch. Fame vehicle upon the impact, the wall of the engine, everything mash up. He was also shaking up badly. Some sorts of whiplash. However, the lady got the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. She had to be pried out of her vehicle. She was then laying on the ground. Look like say she paralyzed. Look like say the wall of her head mash up. She was definitely in some sorts of pain. 
she was taken, flinging her some sorts of jeep back. People are all on on one foot, one on one shoulder. Obviously, if she was badly injured, more than likely. When these unprofessional paramedics finish with her, more than likely she had got crippled. People, me not really know, me just say. So anyways, this video continued for about 9 to 10 minutes. This man sit down right beside him vehicle. He was okay. He was hurt, however, not as severe as the innocent lady. People, let me ask you a question. Is this the way that Jamaica is going to continue? This is the part of lawlessness, recklessness, irresponsible, negligent set of elderly people are people that are supposed to have common sense. What kind of place like this can be so indisciplined? What do you do with people like this that are allowed to commit the same sorts of crimes over and over, still be allowed to register their vehicle, drive up and down with hundreds and thousands of tickets, and the poor poor no. However, here is what the problem is a lot of times. These poor poor are taking bribe. A lot of times, these vehicles, this taxi is owned by a poor poor themselves. So therefore, conflict of interest in the worst case possible. People, me no know where I got happen if everybody I got either D E A D off at the hands of these minibus driver, these taxi men are G U N M E N. However, at the rate at which things are going. It is not going to be a recipe for disaster. The people and the relevant authority, they need to actually do their jobs. Take these people off the road. You said that you have some new traffic act. So therefore, why are these persons doing the same thing over and over? And people like me say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. This is corruption. Corruption is leading to a whole bunch of innocent people getting severely hurt or even losing their life. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, Please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.